Welcome to Pontefract Castle. We're going to have a tour now of the cellar, or what was later used as a dungeon. So here we are in the Norman wine cellar. And this was built by Ilbert de Lacy so that he had somewhere to store the wine. And as the castle grew in importance, it needed more space to store expensive goods and wine. And so they dug out the stairs, which lead down into the next chamber. And here the, the cellar was expanded quite drastically. There's a series of chambers off to the side, several meters beyond where I'm stood. And then there's also this shaft up above, which is where the stone that they dug out when they made the cellars went up, but it's also where the wine and other goods came down. So most of the castle stonework up above us has been exposed to the ailments and has weathered away over the centuries, but down here the stone has been protected. These lines are the actual chisel marks from the people who were carving this out all those hundreds and hundreds of years ago. The next real use for this space was during the English Civil Wars when prisoners were kept down here. And those prisoners actually carved their names into the rocks. And these troops were parliamentarian soldiers that were in the castle when it was captured during one of the sieges. And we know there was up to 30 of them kept down here for several months at a time. The next real use for this space was for the storage of licorice. The Dunhill family, who rented Pontefract Castle for the cultivation of licorice, used them to store the harvested crop. As we go back up, we pass this. The dungeon's carved out of natural solid sandstone, which forms cracks in it. We believe this was probably the facilities or toilet for the troops kept down here during the Civil Wars. As we go back up the stairs, we can see some more of the names carved by those Civil War soldiers. You notice a lot of the names have got a box put round them as if they were reserving space on the wall. They didn't know how long they were going to be down here for. Here we've got John Grant in 1648. He wrote his name a total of four times, and we know he was the gunner from the garrison. And that concludes our tour of the dungeons at Pontefract Castle.